Freshwater mussels are like little canaries in the coal mine for freshwater ecosystems. Unfortunately, our canaries are not doing very well. In, in fact, many species are already threatened and endangered. So it's critical that we have sound techniques for monitoring populations when they go up and when they go down. So in this episode of Conservation Skills in 10 Minutes or Less, we're gonna show you how to tag freshwater mussels so that we can monitor their populations over time. One option for tagging freshwater mussels is to attach a shellfish tag. These alphanumeric tags are attached by adding a small amount of super glue to the wet surface of the mussel. The wet surface allows the glue to cure. Then you press the tag down into the super glue with a pair of forceps to attach. This close up shows the brook floater, Elasmodonna varicosa, tagged on the posterior slope. The posterior slope is a good place to attach the shellfish tag because it's typically flat and also as the muscle moves up and down on the substrate, it's less likely to remove a tag in this location. You can tag both valves of the shell. That way, in case the muscle dies during your study, you can still identify where that muscle came from. Another option for tagging freshwater mussels is the passive integrated transponder tag or pit tag. Again, a small amount of superglue is added to the wet surface of the shell, but this time a very small 12 millimeter pit tag is pressed into the glue with forceps. The glue gets a spray of curing accelerant at this point, and then the pit tag is covered completely with superglue to protect the glass casing from damage out in the environment. After a final spray, with the curing accelerant, the pit tag number is recorded with the pit tag reader and the muscle is ready to release. Water can also be used to initiate curing and other adhesives can be used to protect the pit tag, including marine epoxy and dental cement. This photo shows the Eastern Elliptio tagged with both a shellfish tag and a pit tag. While pit tags are more expensive, the pit tag reader makes tagged muscles much easier to locate in future sampling events. Muscle shells can also be tagged by engraving a symbol or a tag number into the shell with a file or a Dremel tool. The periostracum and one layer of the nacre is removed, being very careful not to perforate the shell. Engraving can encourage shell erosion over time, so be very careful, especially in soft water environments. The most advanced form of shell engraving uses a laser engraver. The laser engraver works sort of like a printer and can tag a large number of muscles in a very short amount of time. Muscles must be relatively similar in size for this technique to work properly. The final tag type are simple tags. They can be things like glue dots or glitter, and while they're relatively inexpensive, because they do not have a unique number, you cannot track individual muscles over time. Want to learn more about how to tag freshwater mussels? I would recommend taking one of the freshwater mussel training courses at the National Conservation Training Center. Just go to our website and type freshwater mussels in the search bar.